This video is sponsored by the MyQ Connected Garage. If you hop on your computer, this is me imagining you typing, type in Tesla, you're gonna find people on very divergent sides of an argument, on the company, on the management, and a few people uh, in between. But I think regardless of how anybody feels about Tesla, I think it's widely regarded that they are incredible software company. And their software has been unbelievable uh, over the past, let's say, decade. But like all cars, it seems like features keep getting taken out as sort of the years progress. Well, prices have gone up. And I think one of the flagship features, or at least one of the most useful features that's been removed is a very simple ability to control your garage door from the software on your car. Used to be there, not anymore. Uh, but now, thanks to Tesla's partnership with MyQ, you have an absolutely seamless experience that seems absolutely native to the car. If you didn't know about it, let me tell you. But before I get to more electric uh, awesomeness, I wanna give you guys a chance to win 500 bucks for being awesome, for being amazing, for being generally stupendous human beings. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you would do with your MyQ integration and new garage door opener. Just tell me a really good dad joke. Be sure to leave your social handle in the comments so I can contact you if and when you win. We'll let it run for 10 days, but all the information will be in the description. If you have any Tesla, you can play games in it. If you have an S or an X, you can play Steam games in it. You can watch a video. The cars can sort of drive themselves. All those features are incredible. But if you own a 3 or a Y, those cars cannot do one of the most basic features, and that's open a garage door. Uh, but now that is being put back into the cars thanks to the beauty of software. So MyQ technology is pretty much in every garage door opener. Uh, the one I have is made by LiftMaster. And if you've got a more recent garage door opener, it probably has MyQ already built into it. Makes your garage door smart so you can open and close it from your phone, which is awesome. I've actually been using that for a while uh, in my garage. I can control it from my phone, which is useful because sometimes I forget if I close the garage door or not. Uh, but now with MyQ Connected Garage, that smart functionality is actually in your Tesla and give you the ability to open or close the garage door right from your car. That all sounds fine, but the big question, I imagine you have, because I had two. It's like, I've got a clicker, I can just click it to my little sunshade, and that seems to work fine. Like, doing this is not too hard, and certainly that does work. It opens and closes garage doors. And I probably should have been a little more clear. This does a lot more than just like open and close uh, your garage, but certainly does that as well. Uh, it will do it based on proximity. So it's a geolocation. You can do it kind of like a geo fence there. So you can set it to auto open when you get to 10 feet of your garage and then set it to auto close uh, on its own as you're driving away. It's even so integrated into the car, it will auto fold your mirrors for you. That's kind of how native this seems. So there's a huge convenience factor uh, there as well. And so if you have a Tesla, and you're putting a game control in it to play games, or you have a Tesla and you're buying a big SSD to go along with it. This is another kind of accessory that I think can take your Tesla experience and make it a little better. So welcome to my garage, it's a bit of a mess here. Uh, Tesla, in one form or another, has been a part of my garage uh, for a while. And all the disarray that I've got happening here, I've got something up there has actually made my life significantly easier and I guess a bit more organized. It's a garage door opener. Maybe you don't think about your garage door openers uh, too much. Uh, this one's made by Chamberlain, it's a LiftMaster. It's got MyQ technology built in so I can control the garage door and the camera from my phone. Uh, that's awesome, it works well, it's been seamless, and it's been just handy to have. But why am I getting into Tesla? Probably a fair question, right? Tesla's been all over the news recently, regardless of how like maybe you feel about them. I don't think there's any denying that they make some of the best technology in the automotive space. I think your argument could be made that they are a technology company even first. But like all automotive companies, it seems like prices have gone up, but features have come down and been taken away. And one of the features that I use all the time in my Tesla is the ability to control my garage right from the center screen. That got taken away from Teslas. Uh, that is until now. 
<laughs> actually. So Tesla, I'm assuming, worked real closely uh, with my Q. And now the ability to control your garage is seamlessly integrated directly into Tesla. And not just like open or close, which it does, but things like geolocation, auto open, auto close. And so integrated into the car, they can fold your mirrors down for you if you want. And then right up here at the new software update, you've got a little garage looking guy. If you click that, you can link your MyQ account. But obviously to make this work, you need MyQ in your garage. Uh, either an accessory or the actual garage door opener. I've got the actual uh, opener here. So if we click that, you can link your MyQ account. And it's as simple as just scanning a QR code. So I got my phone here. Go ahead and give it a scan. Open up MyQ service. So I'm already connected to MyQ, or if you're new, you get the option here. I'll sign in. You get a free 30-day trial to no credit card required. I actually got an email saying I'm already connected. And then from getting in the car to actually having it work in your Tesla is like less than 30 seconds. It is a really seamless uh, and feels like a real OEM um, option here. You can see already popping up here, uh, I've got the option to set geolocation, which is great. You can have it auto open when you get there, auto close when you leave how close you have to be to have those things activate. So 70 feet here, if I wanna go and turn that on, uh, I can go ahead and activate these things. Uh, so pretty easy to do, you have to set your garage location so it knows where you are. So we'll push okay. And now I can set it to auto open when arriving. So 70 feet and go all the way down um, to 10 feet. So when you get close to your garage door, it'll open. Or the reverse, you can also have it to auto fold your mirrors, which is really cool. That's not necessarily MyQ hardware, but that's MyQ's tight integration with Tesla. If you live in a tight garage or something, it'll fold it in for you. Uh, and then auto close a garage when you're leaving, which is awesome too. Got the option for the chime on or off, so it'll give you a little ding when it's opening or closing the garage door. Uh, but a really simple, elegant solution. So it's all set up here. Um, we'll go ahead and set it to auto close too. And just for trial, let's auto fold mirrors here as well. I mean, that just worked. So we'll go ahead and close this out. Uh, and now when you are driving uh, next to the temperature, you've got a little home. You click that an option to open or close your garage door. Everything about this integration feels OEM. It feels like it was made, designed by Tesla. Nothing here feels like there's any third party hardware. This is a really tight integration uh, of software and hardware here, which is, which is pretty cool to have. And this is 100% software from the car side too, just using the cellular connection to sort of activate all these things, but really nicely done. Well job, Mike, you. So, and speaking of the app, as somebody who's like legitimately been using it for a while, uh, the app is awesome. The app for me has been great to use when I'm away from the car. Like look back and be like, did I close my garage door? Yes, or my wife will text me and say, I didn't close the garage door, can you close it? Someone's coming over to drop package off, I can open the garage door for them. Having the app connected makes a ton of sense. It is not convenient when you're driving a car to, as you're backing out, take your phone out, open the app, wait for it to connect, hit close, wait for the garage door to close, and then like leave. So for my house, in my experience, here's how it works for me. Uh, I have the very long named LiftMaster 87504-267. So that's quite a mouthful, uh, garage opener. Uh, it's got a bunch of cool stuff in it. It's got uh, actually a MyQ secure view camera, which is cool. I can see if my garage is actually open or closed. It'll record for me too. Different video. Uh, it's got integrated LED light. It's awesome. Um, if you don't have a compatible garage door opener, which maybe you guys have older garages uh, or something, uh, that's okay. You can obviously buy a new garage door opener if you want, but if you don't want to do that, uh, there's actually a smart garage control device that's very inexpensive, easily can install with existing garage door openers, and you can do uh, all of these features as well. Those are the features I think are almost needed, especially in the cost uh, of Teslas, uh, but it's not free here. Uh, you do get a 30-day free trial, no credit card needed, which is nice. After 30 days, it is a subscription, uh, so $45 for one year, $179 for five years, or $299 for 10 years. It'll be compatible with all Tesla models, and also, if you have, if you switch cars, like maybe you get a new Tesla after two years, you can move that as well. You don't have to start uh, a new process or a new new payment plan. If that sounds expensive uh, to you, uh, there's actually an option from Tesla where they can install the hardware in your car, lets you control your garage door, but that's gonna cost you 350 bucks. And that's obviously gonna be locked on just your one car. And again, you fully control your garage door from your car. Check whether it's open or closed, that'll work with Amazon key, in garage delivery services, all that kind of stuff uh, is absolutely awesome to have. 
And in a car is like technologically advanced uh, as Tesla, I think you would really expect something like this to be built into the car. If you have a Tesla, and if you spend any money on accessories, I think this goes along right with that. Uh, it makes the experience better, more convenient, I think in a lot of ways, a little bit safer. Plus it's got that kind of like, a little bit of Tesla cool factor built into it. It looks native, performs natively, even as you're driving up to your garage door, it'll show you how close you are before it opens. And the same thing when you are driving away. It just it looks really good. It is the most seamless integration that I have ever seen uh, for sort of third party integrating to first party hardware and software. Anyway, give it a shot. It's free for 30 days. Like I said, no credit card. If you decide that you want to use it, uh, use code JohnR10. I'll give you 10% off your five or 10 year subscription. And all the information too for that stuff, we will link down below.